Cheers, mates. How's life? I want to talk quickly about a very important topic with you. What is it? This is suspension. So some basic tips about suspension. Requirements for good suspension. It's essential that the damper has gas pressure support so that the formation of vapor bubbles in the oil and thus the loss of damping is, is avoided. Because if you use it for a long time, then you are in danger to get some bubbles. The damper rot shall be as thick as possible. Then you shall be able to disassemble the damper to service it, because oil and seals physically age. And the damper shall be adjustable, it means the spring shall be adjustable and also the damping here. That is it. Good suspension is not cheap. You have to invest quite a few hundred bucks. You don't have to buy the most expensive ones, that's for racing. But just for normal use on a tour, reasonable price tempers absolutely do the job. Ensure just that they are serviceable. Look it up if service material is available. It is for Pitubu. It is not for the worst shop brands. Only because they look black or silver or so does not mean that they are serviceable. So it is kind of like a one-way shaver. If you buy 500 bucks tempers and you cannot service them, you can throw it away afterwards. Because you won't find a suspension professional which will service it. Because it's a lot of hassle if you don't have the material. He might find the needed material, but he will just say, hey, come up. Leave me alone with this Asian Indian stuff. Furthermore, good suspension is not hard. Only because the front of a standard scooter might be just very soft and the suspension is not good out of the factory. It doesn't mean that you need hard suspension. Suspension is here for flat ironing, all the bumps on the street that you can comfortably ride your scooter. Which setting? Softest one. You leave the spring as it is and then you can just play with it. Make it a little bit harder and you see how you feel, feel in your spine. When it hurts, you can change the setting, it shall not hurt. After each time you should service a shock absorber. First of all, if it hurts, it didn't hurt before, and if it starts hurting, if you can feel the bumps like in your spine like this, then you need to service your suspension. In general they say four or five years around 10,000 kilometers or so, but this is when you buy the suspension from the official dealer, because this ensures that they are freshly produced. You order the shocks, he orders in the factory. You get freshly produced shock absorbers. Otherwise, if you are just a diverse parts dealer, you just buy a big stock, put it on storage, and then you just sell them one after another. To ensure that you get brand new hardware, you buy suspension at an official dealer. And furthermore, you have the advantage that he can adjust the suspension for you. So if you're a little bit heavier, like I oh, am, yeah. <laughs> you can ask for a different spring, for instance. And he can even optimize the shock inside. Yeah, there's a. L you can invest a lot of money. Another rule is good suspension is not cheap. Only because a shock has nice colors and cool stickers and the marketing text in the shops is very fancy. It doesn't mean it's a good shock. Good suspension costs money. You do not get a good shock absorber for 50 bucks. That's impossible. Just look up what shock absorbers, they really look cool and fancy. What they cost on Alibaba and AliExpress. You will be shocked. Cheers, mates. If you like what you saw, don't forget to subscribe. More stuff coming up. Beast! Sorry. Beast of
Was ist das, Herr Biest, jetzt? <lacht>